So we are in the kitchen and <clears throat> as you all know, I do enjoy cooking. I do try to cook everything I possibly can from scratch. Um, so today I'm gonna do something a little different. I did not grow, but I think I'm going to next year because I'm going to take the seeds out of this butternut squash. So a little known fact about butternut squash, generally when you buy canned pumpkin, pumpkin pie in the can. Um, if it says it's pure pumpkin, it's pure pumpkin. But if you look at the pumpkin pie mix that you often buy and you look at the back of it, it's butternut squash, it isn't pumpkin. So it has a very similar taste to pumpkin. You can eat it either sweet or savory. So I decided, I've got a lot of things I wanna get done today. I'm going to use my crock pot and I'm going to cook it in the crock pot. I'm gonna to try to save the seeds and let those dry out and see if maybe I can get some free seeds, always good. Um, you might want to check your Aldi ad. I was out and saw that they had them for 68 cents each. These are beautiful, blemish-free. I did cut the stem off because I have a thing about stems having dirt in it. And all I'm going to do, and I still, forgive me guys, have not gotten a new, there we go over here. I have not gotten a new tripod, so you got to deal with that. So I'm going to aim. You can cook these whole. We'll share that. But the reason I'm not going to cook it a whole is, oh Lord, that thing's tough. Um, okay. You will open. I want the seeds. And of course, if you cook the seeds, then you can't eat I'm sorry, not eat the seeds. Although I suppose you could eat the seeds. They look a lot like pumpkin seeds. I can't save the seeds for planting. And this one's, ooh, this one's going to give me a lot of good seeds. So I like to scrape out the membrane. And I'm sure you can hear seeds in the floor. I tell you, you know, I used to worry and do like a million takes when I was trying to do a YouTube video. But I decided, you know what? That's real life. Like, stuff happens when you're trying to cook and you make mistakes. I'll tell you a little funny on myself. Yesterday, <clears throat> I was being lazy and, you know, not feeling so well. Morning was kind of rough. And so I was like, oh, I'm not going to wash my hair. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm just going to put some dry shampoo in my hair because that would, that'll be just fine. So, I put out the dry shampoo and I start spraying my hair, like they say, you know, lifting it up. And hair was not dirty, but anyway. I was like, what is wrong with my dry shampoo? It's coming out like white powder. And I already have enough silver hair, white hair. It made it look like... You know, I had about an inch of gray roots and I couldn't figure it out. So, I don't know what prompted me to look, but I looked again at the bottle and I was using <laughs> Gold Bond foot powder spray in fresh scent, no less, on my hair. So, needless to say, I had to end up like washing my hair. And um, the funny thing about it is it's actually the second time I've done that which you'd think you'd learn after once. The bottles look nothing alike. The foot spray is a bright blue bottle and the dry shampoo is in a white bottle. So um, I'm going to do some experimenting on making my own dry shampoo. And if, if I have success with it, I would certainly love to share. So here's what you have. You have these two lovely pumpkin colored acorn squash. I'm going to just nest them into the crock pot. And yeah, I'm being kind of lazy. I thought I would use these liners I bought, <clears throat> but I'm not sure I really love them. So, um, and it is plastic. And it's really, really tough to get rid of plastic out of your life. Everything is like plastic. Um, I had to fill up my little, um, oil bottle. <laughs> 
got this for a quarter at the thrift store and sanitized it. And so I'm gonna just drizzle a little olive oil. And I decided to go with the savory approach because garlic is always good. So I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in there. And I love, and this is not expensive, my Hamilton Beach crock pot because it has these lockdown things and it's super easy to use. So my options are to cook on high for four to six hours. And I'd say by the size of that, probably four. Um, so I'm gonna go for uh, manual high. Uh, And we'll just let that rock and roll for a while. So one of the things that I do every day as well, <clears throat> I eat largely a plant-based diet. So let me just share something with you in case you all haven't noticed. Um, I got really fat. I mean, I'm, I shouldn't say fat. I, I gained a lot of weight. Um, I had back surgery with a lot of movement restrictions. And then to top that off, I developed nine pathological fractures in my pelvis and in my lower back below the four level surgical repair. And that was my fourth um, spine surgery. That um, happened a year ago in August. This is now September. I still have a fairly sizable gap in my pelvis uh, the worst fracture that has not healed. So it's made it very, very difficult for me to do projects on the homestead. It's been very difficult for me to um, be active. I, I have a tendency sometimes, I know we all do, to eat for comfort. And my problem isn't so much um, like fast food or even junk food. I just like I love food. I love to bake. I love to cook. Um, and too much food makes too much Kim. <sighs> My cholesterol was so high for a person who eats largely plant-based diet that my doctor was like, you need to get that under control or you're going to have to go on medication. So I got serious and I'm happy to report I've lost 21 pounds. I've lost almost 7% body fat. I miss gravy. I miss gravy. Do y'all like gravy? I love gravy. I miss butter. But I like living. And went to the doctor last week for my checkup. And he was extremely pleased. I still have some weight to go. I'm very well aware of that. But <clears throat> my cholesterol dropped over 100 pounds to no 100 pounds, yeah, 100 points to normal for the first time in 10 years um, or maybe longer because I didn't used to go to the doctor until I got lupus, then I go to the doctor. So um, I'm walking now. I do keep busy. I, I try to always um, get my steps in every hour. And when I have a really bad day, I forgive myself as far as not being able to move. But I've stuck really well to uh, the eating plan. And basically what I'm doing is the intermittent fasting, as they call it. I don't really eat between um, 7 p.m. and 11 a.m. So that's what, 16 hours. And then I eat four small meals one of which is a protein shake because not being a big meat eater and having healing needs, um, that's really helped me. So I try to, what I really wanted to do with this butternut squash is like put like a stick of butter <laughs> and um, I don't know, a cup of brown sugar. But I know that 
I want to live and I want to be healthy. I don't want to develop, you know, heart disease and other associated problems. Gosh, I guess I can raise this up now. So, it, you know, I am focusing on my wellness and I am trying to look long term. Um, if there's something I really want to eat, I eat it. And I just have to realize that it's going to slow my weight loss. It could raise my cholesterol and I, you know, just need to be sparing with the treats, but I don't really deny myself any, anything I really, really want. I have learned that having a great um, complement of spices can really make food taste good without all the added fat. And if you stay away from processed food, not only is it a lot healthier for you, um, it's fun learning new things, learning new recipes. I personally have never done savory butternut squash. It's always been butter and sugar. Yum, good. Um, so, you know, trying new things is, is a good thing. And I think with um, maybe a little salt and pepper, I don't have a problem with salt, so I can I can use it. it. Might be really good. Might jump on the internet, just see if I can find some other herbs that go well with squash. I personally even think cinnamon would be good even with the garlic but um I love cinnamon and I love garlic so one of the things I did do <clears throat> in preparation for weight loss and I'm kind of proud of this so I'm going to show you guys let me take you let me just take you down okay you can see I purchased this metal spice racky thing that fits right in a drawer. And that way I don't have to, being a short girl, um, get a chair out every time I wanna get up in the cabinet. And actually all of my stuff wouldn't even fit and I don't have another drawer to spare. So another thing that I have done, and I love this, I'm gonna take you with me, take you with me, is I purchased these magnetic spice containers and they come with these awesome labels i guess if i put it right side up this is rosemary and then on the sides you can see there's little holes or a pore spout so they stay fresh i have 12 of them i have them alphabetized these are teas um little different brand but I got these on Amazon and I've been super pleased with them I just bought another box of them so let me show you and I'll try to I'll put them in my Amazon store I'm still having trouble as an affiliate with links so I'm going to change up how I'm doing this and I'm going to put you directly into my Amazon store and then it'll be in categories so it's called Talented Kitchen, 12 Magnetic Spices. Really well packaged um, without a lot of waste. And then I'll show you. It comes with two styles. Oh. Oh, let's take a check. I haven't opened it yet because I haven't gotten ambitious enough to fill up more. <laughs> You know, reality. And felt well. Let's see what other um, excuses can I give you. Oh, and it, oh, good. Okay. Um, Regifting. I already have one of these, but it comes with this magnetic um, kitchen conversion chart. And it converts um, ounces to grams, Fahrenheit to centigrade. Of course, all of your liquid measures for teaspoons and cups, um, liquid volumes. So it... See that? I mean, it's a really nice little thing. I usually just ask Alexa to convert it for me. If I say her name, she'll wake up. And then it comes with a couple styles. I like these labels better. I think they're easier to read than these. But if you've already used this one, say, it's got the complement in another style. So anyway, yes, I'll be regifting that. I hope my son's not watching, but you need this, son. Alrighty, so, so far we know we're really better at squash, and I haven't really gotten any further, so I'm going to kind of take a little peruse through my 
multiple pantries and also my freezer um, because I am having some healing challenges. I probably should cook some meat or maybe not. Um, maybe I'll do rice and beans. That's always a good one because you're still getting your protein and it's, it's filling. Um, or maybe soup. Soup would be good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the crock pot full. You know, all these decisions. Um, I'm not as good of a plan a header for my meals like for the week and probably I should do that. But I just have everything so well stocked because I, I'm trying to reach my goal of having a one year supply of food on hand. I can pretty much make anything I want any day of the week without having to go to the store. <sighs> so I'm gonna go figure out what's gonna be for one of my four little meals today and um, get doing some chores and um, maybe bring you back for some updates. So stay tuned. All right, well, I thought I would bring you back and show you how beautifully my butternut squash turned out. The peel, I did not mention, but the peeling is still on it. So it actually finished up so quickly, I was really surprised. I think um, this was a smaller, it's hot, <laughs> smaller butternut squash. But at any rate, I think that Cooking it on high at three hours was, you know, a gracious plenty. So let's give it a taste test. It smells like, not like pumpkin, and I thought it would. Um, and it might have if I had put the cinnamon in it, but I just decided to go with the garlic and I haven't put anything else on it. So let's taste it and see what, probably needs salt and pepper. Oh my goodness, very, very good. Very much like a flavorful zucchini with a garlic kick. Who doesn't like garlic, right? Um, soft, tender, really good. So if you've never tried butternut squash, I would highly recommend it. So I'm gonna end the video for today here. I've done a bunch of projects. I've been working on my homestead management binder, so stay tuned for that video. I did make another video there. A dear friend had a uh, surgical procedure today so I made her some really delicious I'm sure brownies she's a big fan of chocolate I'm not so much a fan of chocolate but um <clears throat> I did have to taste the icing you know okay so just full disclosure here so let me see if I can take you to my my refrigerator is kind of like playing Jenga I have a freakishly small refrigerator so here we go Lots of canning jars in my fridge, but yum, yum, right? So I stuck it in there in hopes that it would cool so that I could take it over to her yet today. So stay well, be healthy, and be blessed. Have a great day.